the choice of making it round and lining it up against each other. But now instead of having a fat end and a skinny end like that, see, I have one fat end here, one skinny end, I, I go back and forth. Over here now, the improvement is I have one straight, solid stick the same way, the whole way. What this, kind of wood is that? This is eucalyptus. But see, look, then I round over it again. If you look at it, it's still. So you're using a lathe on it? No, you see, I'm just going to round it. Round it over. It still looks like a stick. Yeah. You know, it, but the, now the support is this way here. And, and, and now these beams here, I don't have to have a beam. Like, I don't have to have these beams running this way here. Because the, I, have, I have it thicker this way here, running this way here. And I have it thicker going this way here, and and it's more uniform. So instead of having a bed up there, the whole thing can be like a tatami mat. You know, like, uh, uh, in Japanese, in fact, they sleep on wooden beds like that. So all I have to do is basically have a mattress up there, and it'll still it'll feel. Hopefully, that's the whole process to feel nice and soft again. So it 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 the the holly is smaller but it's more efficient and, it, and it's, it'll be more like just a sleeping log. Not, not, this is a little bit more living, uh, bigger up there. But who, well, you don't need it, you know? Because actually, um, the building department have a restriction. If you can build a house, if, if it's under 200 square feet, no building permit, so it's under 200 square feet. So that serves that purpose, you see what I mean? And then you have a sleeping log. It's for people that want to come out here and just have a, 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 a Yes. Yeah, uh, it's out, luxury camping is what I call it. Mm -hmm. Later on, we'll, you, you will stop and you will check, my, check out my, my kitchen and my bathroom. You know, I mean, what else do you need? You know, and, and uh, so this, that, that's, that's the, not, I, I wouldn't say improvement, that's what I, I'm experimenting with right now. You so, gotta be careful because then you're gonna go, why, why not just go to Home Depot and go back to the course, right? So we're going like you're halfway. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this is this is yeah, exactly this is sustainable wood. This, yeah. this is actually again a, a, an invasive species. And you're right. And I could I could do that. I could go to Home Depot, but, but that's not the point. Yeah. No. And I, in fact I don't think the wood the Home Depot they have would be even as strong as the eucalyptus. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if, you, if you look at it, if you want to pass it around, oh, feel it. Oh my god, it's so dense. Huh? So it's, that, that's why yeah, we use it. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and and actually, if you put water on it and you, you put a little finish on it, boy, it, it really, it's, too. it's really. Yeah, in fact, they, they make furniture oh, out of wow. it. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! That looks so light. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, even but even even though because it's still in its raw state, mm -hmm. raw state, it, it's still. I still have a little curve, so I'm, I'm still going to have little gaps like that. But I think if you, if you see how, how nice it is, to just I mean, to just lie on it still feels real nice, you yeah. know. So it's still a, a, a that's how I, I solved the problem of the without the beam without the woods there. Mm -hmm. For me, it doesn't for me, it doesn't really uh, bother me having those posts there because actually, it actually it's the support of that thing, it's easier to support. but. But for her, she wanted a, she wanted a, a no post in a house with any, anything I need. Actually, like the client is always right. Yeah, the client is always right. Plus, the other thing is that she is actually it was it was supposed to be a yoga studio for her, yeah. where she can go out and do yoga. That's awesome. It's not what what you're gonna see is not a complete, holly, uh, 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 not a complete build, building, because she doesn't want to have a stone wall. Uh, she wants to have a, actually a platform wooden platform so after I build a holly then I'll build a platform and then she can decide whether or not she wants the platform to be this kind of wood on top of it or actually she's talking about actually um, using plywood she, she could have a nice solid solid foundation to do her jumping and yoga and all that kind of stuff that's possible too so when you when you see the other holly you will see how I how um, how I did that too, you know. How, uh, actually, I didn't. I have this mill. I have I have this wood at my house, 
I didn't finish milling it yet. I, I've milled enough so that you guys can see how it works on an upper floor like that. And, and in between that, so we can stand on the platform and do the thatching on it, I put I just put two pieces of plywood right now. It works fine, it's level. I mean, what else do you need, you know, for, you know, for thatching? So that, that, that works. Um, okay, so the next step is that after we get, you know, now you have an idea of how it's, we're gonna, we're gonna, this morning, we're running out of time, and everybody, if you want, if you want to, I want you guys to, practice doing some work and doing this thing here. This is the uh, Lalo leaf or Chinese sinensis or uh, 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 Pacifica uh, 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 um, indica, uh, I think that's what they call it. Um, every leaf have a top and a bottom. And, and that's because it, the leaf, every tree wants to protect itself. You know, otherwise it would burn up in the sun. So this leaf here, uh, this leaf here, you see this little thing here? It's called a pico, like you know, our pico. Pico is the belly button. We call it the, the pico here. And so what we're going to do, this stem here, there is a purpose. They have, you, you have to keep the stems on. You don't, just like here, the stem is part of the strength of the building here. You see the st stem like that? You tie the pico and then you have the stem st sticking out. That stem acts as a, uh, for the next stem going up so that you have a line going up that is equal. If you don't have it, you, I mean, try to keep the line, you're gonna, when I mean, you guys do your thatching, try to follow the line straight up there, you know, up and down. All the, all, all, we use, we don't have to use, this cord here is actually, gets kind of expensive after a while. Although it's re really cheap. It's still more expensive than you know than just this thing here. This would this thing here is maybe ten times more expensive than this stuff here. Yet this stuff here also blends in with when it dries, so that you can you can't hardly see it. Mm -hmm. See that? It's, it looks like part of that, part of that. So make that nice. Unless of course in your design you want to have uh, you make that part of your design, then you have different color. It could be black. Ground, whatever, but that that's a design choice. But so this is what we're gonna do today. The, uh, the the leaves are already cut for us. We're gonna cut the length here. It should be 18 inches, 18 inches, and then um, some people will be gatherers, some, and we'll switch we'll switch off. You see this pico here? You 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 wanna okay? We're gonna we're gonna break it here. Just, just, just put a little break there. Stick this through, like that. It goes around the pico here, and and then you just break, just make a little hole here. Slip it through, like that. So now the the, the string is around the, the pico there. You see, like that. You know, if this is done correctly, Strong, huh? it, it's not gonna come off. The wind can be blowing and it's drying because it's locked in there. So th this is important that you put the rope around this and in, in, in there. D flip it over. Here's another. Here's another point too. You don't want to have it. You don't want to have too much extra play because every, this string is this string is important that it that it, it it be only a certain length because you only when you when you start tying on tying on the on the holly. If it's too long like that, this thing is shorter and you're not going to have enough to tie, tie uh, uh, up above. So you just want to have, try to, try to keep, try to keep it about three or, about at least three fingers like that. Just three fingers. Three fingers. So that now you tie in the back here. One. 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 Two, three. Gotta be, gotta be three times. That locks it in place there. It can lock it on the left hand side. Just a simple knot. Simple knot. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is, might even be too much. But try to try not to get too much because if you get too much, like I said, this is going to be too short. And when you start tying, you're not going to have enough rope to tie. Because mm -hmm. I, I tie my. Everybody, you know, everybody does things differently. I like, I like to tie my 
when I'm putting it up, I, I like, you're gonna, you're gonna put it, you're gonna, you're gonna be tying it on over here, and then it's gonna be resting, the, the, this part here is gonna be resting up above, and I tie it at a second spot here. When you tie, tie two spots, Boy, it can be blowing in the wind or whatever. It's not rocking or anything. It's, it's like, it's really, it's really solid. Remember when you, when you, when you tie, we're going to go over, I'm going to have to say this thousands of times. I'm going to be watching you. You're going to make mistakes. <coughs> but in the meantime, you know, just, you know, uh, the more, the more I tell you, the more it's going to become ingrained in your head. You don't lose any leaves. There's a method to the madness. You follow the method, these things become bulletproof. If you don't follow the method, you can be losing leaves off off the off your holly, and 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 it's gonna uh, uh, you're gonna have holes in the holly. You're gonna have leaks and all that kind of stuff. So it it really makes sense. Notice leaf. The leaf is like corrugated. Mm -hmm. So when the wind, when the water hits that, it hits like that, and it. And it's going down. So you don't want to. You see, there's a, there's a little fan area here where it's not broken. You don't want to break it too much more. But at the same token, when you when you when you're putting a leaf on, look, look, one leaf is what? How many? Pretty much about a foot or more. I would say of of actually uh, of coverage. So when you put one on, you fold this one down like that. You fold the. The old, remember this all over, new under. So the so the, the one that's old, you fold it over. The next leaf that comes on top of it, you you're gonna fold it under like that. When you're thatching. Under like that. And that so so that's what happens. And then and what, what happens when you when you do see how it look what happens is that you start creating a pattern. You see, this pattern goes one way like that, and then you come back the other, and then the pattern goes a different way. It's, it's called, it's called like, this one here actually is more obvious. Can you see that? The, uh, one, one goes one way, then one goes the other way, one goes out one way, one goes the other way. It's a herringbone weave. So then you create a pattern. And then, like I said, the, the more, uh, um, you know, the more pattern or like a, a, a rhythm and repetition, then it starts. Then, then the, the, the it gets like a, the rhythm, and it looks lot, much much better than than being hodgepodge all the way around. So that's those are the kind of things we're gonna do. We're gonna practice that. We're gonna practice weaving. We're gonna practice all of that. And I don't know if you guys wanna and we, until you guys get tired, and then you guys will, then that's it. I mean, and, and 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 in between, we'll teach you the ties and stuff like that. So I guess now we just go start. Well, it's, well, it's nice and sunny. And, and 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 that's how actually it, uh, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a, 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 a chain chain of things. Then when, when it's when, when it's when it's raining, we'll come back here and we'll do some ties if it rains again. But usually that's it for the for the day. I mean for the uh, here's a, here's all of our uh, sticks, and we can do that later on. But plenty of time. Even I I even left spaces on the actual holly for you guys to. Do, uh, practice on. But before you guys do my holly, yeah. I want you guys to practice first, you know, so you know. So, 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 uh,